Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. We have a bunch of work today. Of course, we have beautiful snake eggs right here. Look at this, this is an oak tea that's het for scaleless bread to a scaleless Abbott's oak tea. Amazing. So we're gonna be pulling a bunch of eggs. But first I wanna check on Ivy, who is ironically enough on the land again. And remember, we set that time lapse up last night, hoping we could kinda of see what's going on. Looks like there might be a leaf or two down here, but for the most part, the cage looks like it's pretty intact. So. Hopefully we caught some cool footage of her just cruising around, figuring out what she's gonna do because uh, she is an interesting animal. And I think we'll probably add this to the live reptile cam site as well. So uh, then you guys could watch her all the time. But let's check this time lapse out. It's a little bit underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but we're gonna keep on trying, because I know there are nights that Ivy is just going crazy all over, because when I come in, I can see all the movement she had, so uh, I'll keep trying with that, and uh, one day we're gonna catch her in the act of doing some crazy stuff. She's such an amazing snake, so uh, anyways, uh, I gave it my best shot, I promise you, we will keep trying. Just check the baby skinks, and I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, not every, litter is a good litter. Uh, mama is upset, so I'm gonna get her out of here because she wants to bite me. Come on, Mama, it's okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's okay. All right, it's okay, it's okay, okay, okay. Woo, she's upset. Let me go ahead and get her aside. We'll get her into a holding cage. Uh, she's just protective of her babies. And as you can see, not so good. Oh, here's a little baby here. All right, so I wasn't sure if there was gonna be any good babies. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> I love when they stick their tongue out. Again, that blue tongue is meant as kind of a defense mechanism, right? They're gonna stick that tongue out. A predator's gonna potentially think it's poisonous and they're gonna leave them alone but that is the cutest little thing in the world I'll go ahead and set this baby right over here and see if there's anything again bad litter we got a stillborn here we got a stillborn here we've got multiple stillborns back here oh what a oh, sorry. oh wait there's another little baby right back here awesome so again, I wasn't sure if there was gonna be any babies, and it looks like we've got at least two good babies in here. And again, mom made mess. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's a stinky mess. I mean, she expelled a bunch of, of gunk and just nastiness and stillborn babies. These guys are terrible. So we're just looking through to see if there's another one. Looks like maybe only two in this entire litter. Just gonna go through, just check to make sure. Yeah, it looks like two good babies and a whole bunch of mess. So I'm gonna clean this thing up, get her good to go, and uh, get her back in here and get her fed up. But in the meantime, it's pretty cool that we at least got two little beautiful babies here. I mean, they are gorgeous ones too. So at least it's a good thing to get a couple, okay? Not every litter is gonna be perfect, but uh, these babies are so absolutely adorable. We'll get them set up as well. Let's check and see what's going on. We see Nova here. Oh, wait a second, Lilith is actually down. Let's see if she looks skinny. If she looks skinny, that means she laid eggs. Hey Nova, what are you doing, boy? No, nope, it looks like she's still pretty fat, but it is interesting that she would come down like that and hang out. That tells me she's gotta be ready to lay a clutch anytime. She never comes down like this, so I'm not gonna mess with her too much. I'll just go ahead and let her be, but uh, that's pretty cool. I know we're gonna have frilly eggs any day. I'm gonna give you guys one guess what time it is. Kluber egg time. <laughs> We're gonna start with this apricot Pueblin milk snake here. Let's see if she's got some good eggs in her. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, beautiful. Look, what a pretty snake too. And again, these apricots or apricots, whatever you say, it just is the difference because they, instead of having yellow, they have like an orange apricot color and stuff like that. We'll get her cleaned up, get her some water in here. Oh, and by the way, this is that new sphagnum moss that I almost got killed when I threw it at Lori. So uh, let's see how many eggs this girl actually had. They all look absolutely gorgeous. We'll just put them in here. Two, four, six, seven good eggs. I'll take that. That's a good way to start the day. Next up is actually a het leucistic scaleless Texas rat snake. It's actually bred to a scaleless Texas rat snake that is het for leucistic. And it's this little monkey right here that is angry. What are you doing? Come on, silly monkey. But what a beautiful snake, huh? So let's hope we got some good eggs here. We'll go ahead, open up. Ooh, this is interesting. What is going on here? I'm gonna take a look at this girl real quick. Looks like she might have a couple eggs retained in her, but they're kind of high up. So I'm gonna just leave her alone. I'll check back with her, but I can only see two eggs 
And that's, oh my God, that is really bizarre. It did look like there was one or two more retained in her, but they're kind of high up. So we'll let her have a couple days to kind of push those down before we can try to maybe aspirate them out. But this is bizarre that there would only be two eggs from a clutch. Typically a rat snake like this from Texas is gonna lay anywhere from eight to 20 eggs. You know, typically eight to 10 is about average, but we only got two eggs. Looks like there's a couple left in her. So that was an extremely small clutch. That's just the way the breeding season happens sometimes. As you guys can see here, I got this wonderful cool little box and it is not an animal. This is actually a, fi a filter, a little pump that we have here running uh, Bowser's Pond. So we actually have three of them that we have running, but unfortunately only two of them actually are kind of out. Since we don't know why, we're probably gonna pull, just go ahead and pull the old one out, put the new one in, and then just you know, knock it out. We just gotta loosen up a couple fittings, get the uh, hoses unplugged out of the old one and empty the water, and then I put this new one in there, put the new water in, and that's it. That's refreshing water right there. That's a good filter when you know you can drink the water, that's for sure. It's been a lot of fun to try and do this. It's a new experience for me too. I don't, I don't often work with tanks too often. Of course, they do the water changes and all that sort of stuff. And on top of all that, add a new filter to this thing. So we got the one working and hopefully the next one will be, be very shortly as well. Just a little update on Heinz, who's actually just coming out of shed right now. And he's kind of calming down a little bit. It takes a little bit to kind of habituate him, but you can see he's chilling out. But look at this tail right now. Remember, it was already up to here. We updated you a couple weeks ago, but it is crazy how much longer it's already got. I mean, in all honesty, it probably only has about that much more to go, and it's going to be like a normal tail, and you really can't even tell that it lost its tail. I mean, this thing is absolutely adorable. Love it, and I'm so grateful that he's growing his tail back and looks amazing. I'm going to continue to work with this guy because I want him to be a big, tame albino iguana. He is a beauty. We have a little spotted python that laid some eggs in here. Let's take a look. Ooh, the eggs are kind of loose all over the place. Let's see what's going on. This is, again, another older female spotted python, probably at least 13, 14 years old, something like that. But let's take a look and see what she's got going on. She's, again, not wrapped any of the eggs. She's laid them kind of all over the place, which is really bizarre. So we're just going to start pulling these things off. And you can see they're really translucent, so you can actually see the embryo and the network of veins right through the eggs. Sometimes you see that with colubrids, sometimes spotted pythons as well look at this egg right here wow that is bizarre that's almost like a science project you can literally see inside the egg you can see all the veins it's just a lack of calcium for whatever reason these eggs weren't calcified as much as some other eggs where you can't actually see them but uh, why she didn't wrap them I have no clue but I'm gonna set these all up it looks like there's a pretty good amount of eggs in here too they're really big eggs as well Let's see we just got a couple more eggs here and again, this is kind of nice because they're not as calcified. You don't have to worry about the fact that they were potentially rolled, but look at that. You can literally see the embryo in the egg itself. See right there, you can see the little black dot is actually the eye of the snake right there. That is weird. Will this embryo go the whole distance? I don't know, but that might be something to kind of keep an eye on and we can actually see that snake grow in the egg itself. That is really cool. Something that you hardly ever see, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Oftentimes when that happens, the egg does go bad, unfortunately. Man, there's a lot of eggs in this clutch. They just keep on coming. Girl, you laid a big clutch of eggs right there. Holy moly. We'll get mama all cleaned up and stuff like that, but let's take a look in here. As a matter of fact, look at right here too. See this egg right here? You can see that blacked out again. You can see the actual head. Now this one has a pretty good chance of making it. This one I'm a little bit concerned about, to be honest with you, but I'll kind of keep you guys posted. If it makes it, it's again going to be what I said, a cool science experiment to actually see the snake grow in the egg. We've got two four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 eggs. I tell you what, that was a wild clutch. 14 good eggs. Uh, I think we have four or five more spotters or children's to lay for the year, and then we're done with all the Antaracea, those pygmy pythons from Australia. Well, I tell you what, a lot of exciting clutches today. This one is amazing. This is actually a granite Max Max, San Luis Potosi King. Now, last year, we didn't have any good production from this group, so I'm gonna just look and see. 
Are they good eggs? Uh, yes, they look like they're good eggs. Wow, that is awesome. Take a look at how beautiful that snake is right there. Again, that's a San Luis Potosi king snake, but it's a, just a granite one, right? So it has more speckling. And so we'll get her all cleaned up, get watering with her, take these eggs out and look at how amazing this is. Two, four, six, perfectly good eggs. You know, it's interesting how like one year you breed the same animals, you get in fertiles the next year. I think we might have a new male up this year, but uh, it's great to get the first fertile clutch. We hopefully will have a few more this year. I, it's just a snake I really, really love. So I'm excited that we'll be hatching these guys in a couple months. Got a quick mail time for you guys. A bunch of stuff at the P.O. box. Someone should probably send those Ooh. steel gloves so he doesn't cut himself. All right, we got a little note here. It looks like a shirt. I'll show you in a second. I can open this note. <laughs> this is just a small thank you from me to you for being such a great influence in the reptile community, inspiring me to get into reptile world. Uh, sending many blessings your way from my family to yours. Uh, thank you so much. This is Raphael Russo, Green Morph Guys. Oh, this is a pretty cool shirt. It's a cool logo, man. Oh, That's yeah. dope. I do like that. Thank Snakes you. That's nice. taken seriously. Snakes taken seriously. Thank <laughs> you, cool. guys. I appreciate it. It's a small package. Yeah, and that one has my name on That's it. Just, let me open it for no. you. No. Very cute. Oh, Ooh, it's a little keychain. <laughs> oh, how it looks cute like is flaming that? Hot. It's a bearded jet. Is that, bearded is that yeah. flaming hot? It could be. It's orange like him. I don't see a note, so I don't know who it's from, but it has my name on it. Thank you very much. Well, thank That's you. That's cute. awesome. <laughs> Thanks for sending her something. I appreciate that. <laughs> I've got a bearded dragon ah, now. Look at that. This could is, uh, these be related? Yacht. I wonder if they are. <laughs> so I take the oh, I take all the negative things I said about you. Let's oh, see. What back. does that say? I'm just kidding. You think this feels like a, a shirt again? <laughs> That's a pretty safe guess. All right. Oh, could read the note. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, Hi Brian. My name is Bethany from Canton, Ohio. Oh, it's Canton, Ohio. My boyfriend and I watch your daily vlogs. Also sent the Got Cricket shirt. So this is the oh, Got Cricket shirt okay. as well. So thank you, Bethany. You're awesome. I appreciate you. What is this one? I like green, by the way, too. Oh, that's awesome. Normal, Whoa. healthy adult turtles. <laughs> I like that. That's, that is that's, funny. That's pretty good. I like. I do like that. Thank you, Bethany. You, you're awesome. I that appreciate you so much. Another shirt here. Oh, this doesn't say what anything. This is just like a shipping manifesto. Oh, smell. Manifesto. <laughs> oh, that's, oh dope. that's dope. Buddy. I like that, man. I wonder. Oh, I wonder goodness, if it cool. glows. You'll see all of them in the vlog, so thank you so much. Last box here. This is literally, I think it's air. Someone said air. Okay, there's something in there. Now it's all broke. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, it's all broke. <laughs> oh, they're, oh my gosh, they're tubes. <laughs> For they're the tube feeding. <laughs> For the tube feeding. All right, so it says, Dear Brian. <laughs> My name is, <laughs> Dear Brian Barczyk, my name is T. I've been a fan of yours for months. I have four tube feeding tubes for you to feed your snakes. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, that's awesome. I appreciate yeah, wouldn't the tubes. have guessed that, but no, definitely no. appreciate that's it. Awesome. Well, thank you guys always for sending us cool stuff. We uh, we love you guys. Uh, and oh, by the way, we had another shipment of paper towel too. So whoever sent the sparkle paper towel, much love. You know I get excited about paper towel. Anything else we need? You guys, if you want to send like prime rib or. Um, <laughs> Or like, you know, filet mignon. You like me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. That would be really nice. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, thank you guys. Always mention there's ups and downs with the breeding season. Uh, good litters, bad litters, good clutches, bad clutches. And that's just the way it goes. But I'm still always thankful for the amazing year that we're having. And if you guys enjoyed this, here's a playlist right over here of baby snakes and baby reptiles I think that you guys will like. You can also support my podcast channel right up over here called Checking In. On this side, you can support me by subscribing to this channel. Channel, turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.